Nah, we are coming in hot, folks. We are coming in hot. What's up, everybody? <laughs> I am I am way behind on everything. I'm trying to trying to throw everything together real quick, but it is not happening. How are we feeling this morning, folks? I am going to be improvising here for the first little bit because I am like I said, crazy behind. I do not have the song schedule planned for this week. I do have twig but I don't have the pictures in yet it is I'm telling you I'm telling you it's been a morning ran out of coffee so I had to make a coffee run forgot the game back at my house because I just had to have the physical edition of Zelda don't have the schedule written don't have the stuff uploaded Woo! We are coming in hot. I hope everyone's doing well, though. Even if it may take me just a moment to get my act together here. What I think makes it worse is that I thought I had time without realizing how many things I was forgetting. I like just realized that I forgot the game. Oh, stop. Oh no, this is awful. Um. <laughs> this is really bad. This is just really bad news. Hang on. We're, we're getting it. We're getting there. We're almost there. I appreciate everyone's patience. Because we still have a minute. Let's see. But again, I do hope everyone is well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, name of the week. We will find out. <laughs> we'll find out if those are in the right order. They may very well be in the wrong order. Okay, now we're going to focus on the song schedule real quick. And then I promise, I promise we'll do, um, we'll do Jeopardy. I just got to make sure I get our schedule for next week correct. What are we doing next week? Oh, man. this works let's give it a try <laughs> I've never had I've absolutely never had ChatGPT say let's give it a try 
Hey, I'm at work just listening. Hope stream goes well and have fun. Thanks, Kuro. Appreciate you hopping in. Thanks, everybody else that's down in the chat. Today, I see Mayfly, Perispecta, Zando, Convide. Welcome in, welcome in. Glad you're here. We're going to get started soon, I swear. I just got to make sure this song schedule song works. Yo, thanks for the sub, Perry. Let me know how hard you want to spin that sub wheel. Almost two years. That's wild. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's see. So, um, spoiler alert for those of you that are going to hop in later. Don't spoil it for the song schedule, folks. But the song this week is Rolling in the Deep by Adele. There's a sermon starting in my arm. Guardians, theme bitches, bringing us to the start. Monday, I'll stream some gazette beats. Go ahead and join me and we'll share some beats. Yeah, okay, that's fine. The joy of our stream reminds me of a Almost had it on. Yeah, that's good. Let's see if I can hit this note. We could have had it on. Rolling in the stream. That's pretty high. We might have to drop it. Um, okay. That'll do. Let's make sure they hit on all the notes. Yes. I guess, sure. Okay. <laughs> sort of. All right. That'll do. That'll do, I suppose. It's going to be real high. It's going to be real high. All right. Let's hear that vocal fry. Absolutely. Direction clockwise at a power level of one. You got it. That'll do. Oh, you can't see it. I didn't know the camera was that far over. Well, you can't see it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it landed on yellow. We're already in a fever pitch this morning, so we're just gonna do the best we can. Got chop on. Perry, right or left hand? Right or left hand? It's not beans, by the way. You just got two. Not beans. You just got two. You got the final Chaos Emerald! That means you uh, have officially turned into Super Perry. So you get to pick a, uh, a game for us to attempt to speedrun. Make sure that it's a game that takes less than three hours to speedrun. And I'll write it down. All right, Zando, your gachapon. Yeah, right? Technically, yes. Technically, yes. Ah, oh, Zando, this is a fun one for you. I guess. It's a Jeopardy. A bonus Jeopardy. Ooh, and it's a double Jeopardy. So we'll get three Jeopardy questions today. That's fun and exciting and fun. All right, now your movie, movie game. Zando, your movie, movie game is Dolores Umbridge ushered in substandard and cruel magic school educational practices that were ultimately uncovered in the Watergate scandal. You do get the first. Yep, yep, yep. Well, is that the way it works, or do we just open it up to the floor? And it's just that we have a bonus question because of you. I don't know if we've set a precedent there. Just Nixon. Just Nixon. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenixon. No frost. This is the 1995. Although, in all fairness, Movie Movie Game might have been made before Nixon Frost. Wasn't that pretty recent? Yeah. 
All right, the good news is, is that our ads are over, so we can turn to Jeopardy. And I'm fine setting that precedent. Nixon Frost is 08. No, no, no. You can be as mean as you want, just don't have high expectations. All right. Zando, we're going to start with Zando's Jeopardy. So, folks, the way that Jeopardy normally works is anybody can answer, but because Zando pulled this one out of the Gotch Bond machine, he's going to get first crack. He gets exactly one guess before we release the floodgates. So, if Zando guesses once incorrectly, it's open to everyone. Fair? Fair. And this is a double Jeopardy, so it is worth 2,000 points. I will be sure to reiterate this whenever we get into the next questions that once we're in the next two, anyone can call out. So, first one, this is just for Zando to take one guess. One guess. The category is geography. For the maximum amount of points we allow, 2,000 points. The answer. Founded in 1853, Washington University isn't in D.C. or Washington State, but in this city on the Mississippi River. Founded in 1853, Washington University isn't in D.C. or Washington State, but in this city on the Mississippi River. It is indeed in St. Louis. 2,000 points. All right. Now the floodgates are open to anyone and everyone that would like to answer. The way we do Jeopardy is I will read off the category, the amount of points that it is worth, and the prompt. You do not have to answer in the form of the question. Just be the first one to answer on the chat. We'll get started now with our first one. Memorial Day is the category for $600 points. Excuse me. I'm not giving away money here. Memorial Day, 600 points. The answer. The World War I poem in Flanders Fields inspired the use of this flower as a symbol for remembering fallen soldiers. 600 points, the World War I poem. It is indeed the poppy. Congratulations to Zando. Wait, what? Stop, goofy goof. All right, Zando, if you can get this next one before anyone else, then you will put yourself into second place. If you uh, if you get it, you actually will tie for first. If anybody else snags it before you, then you will remain in third place. That is the gap we're working with here. Category remains the same. Memorial Day for 1,000 points. The answer. This traditional song of Memorial Day was originally a call to extinguish lights. This traditional song of Memorial Day was originally a call to extinguish lights. What's up, H-Man? How we doing? Welcome in. It is indeed Taps. Congratulations to the full sweeper, Zando. Tying for first place with that... Our current leaderboard stands as follows. Third place is Stained Glass Rebel with 1,800 points. Second place is Sneaky Pigs with 3,800 points. First place is a tie between Zando and maybe 30 bats. Congratulations to our participants. Thanks for playing. We'll continue going until the next checkathon. So there's still plenty of opportunities, folks, if you want to get those points in there and climb the leaderboard as quick as you can. H-Man's jumping in between MSI games. Very fun. That's League, correct? I'm thinking so. That's a, there's, there's a current League tournament. It's not Worlds, is it? What season is it right now? I have successfully made it through the tutorial area of Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm on the fence about how I feel. Zando, that's, the, you know, you said you were kind of mid on Breath of the Wild. You enjoyed it, but not a, a whole lot. Um, I will say... Feels like Minecraft with extra stuff. I do not agree, but I hear you. I think that... Um, like I said, if you enjoy, if you loved Breath of the Wild, you're going to love Tears of the Kingdom. If you were okay with Breath of the Wild, it is really more of the same, but better. I will say, I think that the puzzles so far in Tears of the Kingdom have been immediately better. Drastically better uh, from Breath of the Wild's puzzles. For instance, I completed the Water Temple today, and um, I enjoyed it throughout. 
just had a blast with the entire time. It actually really reminds me of Wind Waker's puzzles. So if you liked Wind Waker, it's real fun. Are you listening to anything in the background, listening to a podcast or a TV show or a movie? Ooh, wait, hold on. This one makes me feel like it'd be a goofy times unless you've already played it. Sports Story on Switch. You know, it's, um, it looks like halfway between Stardew and a sports game. Most speedruns are about one to two hours. I have played Golf Story. Isn't Sports Story from the same people? I know I've played Golf Story. Okay. I think we've I think we finally got it. Golf Story is a prequel to Sports Story. Well, there we go. I loved Golf Story. Golf Story was exceptional. I mean, I thought it was a really fun time. Great writing, um, ton of fun, but I don't know anything about sports. I do, I, like, I feel like I've heard of Sports Story. I may even own Sports Story, but it, it's one that might be on perpetually on the backlog. I will say, do know that the speed run, I stop it right at the time. Have you played Dandara? I have not. My only gripe with Golf Story was the soundtrack was awful. I for sure was listening to a podcast in the background of Golf Story. Games like that, I know I would have been listening to something instead of actually, like, listening to the music. That's fine with me. I will say that's something about this game, Zando, with the exception of, um, of Tears of the Kingdom, that is. With the exception of the huge, like, saxophone-driven theme song, uh, the music of Tears of the Kingdom is so sparse that somebody that does love music as much as you, I can imagine it being disappointing in that regard. The music is good when it's there. Just trying to find some that'll be fun on stream. Oh, for sure. Well, any, any of it is fun whenever you're trying to watch me meet some kind of a time criteria. That or getting over it, which felt like a mean choice. How long is getting over it? What's a speed run of getting over it? I've played getting over it before. I think I've beaten it. I may have, I may have gotten frustrated and watched someone beat it. The soundtrack was like, hey, we have a great game. We need a soundtrack, but we're out of money. So I hired my nephew who just started learning to play trumpet. I don't agree there. I think it's a great soundtrack. It's just so sparse. But I love that saxophone. That saxophone is like awesome. Oh yeah, I for sure play getting over it. It's a classic. It's a classic. All right, folks, we're gonna get started with Twig because uh, I wanna make sure we get through it in this first hour. And then we will um, probably take a break and then we shall Move directly from there into our song schedule. Hopefully I'll be able to play it. It's gonna be real tricky. How do you speed run League? <laughs> do you see the new Mortal Kombat announcement? I only saw that they were making an announcement and then I saw an image this morning of Liu Kang, but I haven't seen anything else. They're like, it's time for a new era or it's a new time or something. It will not be a part of Twig. I didn't get to it in time for that. Let me open all my Twig links first while we get started. Okay, I think I have everything opened. Perfect. They're basically rebooting the franchise. Blank slate for the stories and characters. Interesting. Trailer went live. Looks neat. I'm not a huge MK guy, but you know I'm the fighting game guy. Well, I love Mortal Kombat. So I am. I would I would say that is my favorite fighting game, even if I'm real bad at it. But do, do link it. I'll watch it for sure. All right. We're going to turn to Twig. Uh, folks, do not go anywhere. Twig is our interactive news show, so you do not need to leave. You can stick around for the show and interact with us as we get going. So with that, let's get right into it. Welcome into Twig, everybody. We're glad that you are here. Twig is our weekly geekly news show that we do here on Thursdays on twitch.tv slash Checkpoint Church. We talk about all sorts of nerdy things and things going on in the nerdy world. If you're watching later on YouTube, hello, YouTube. Everybody in the chat, say hi, YouTube. And um, 
If you're listening on the podcast version, you can't see them saying hello, but I'm just assuming there's just a cavalcade of hundreds of hellos, just thousands, millions, dare I say, millions of YouTube welcomes. I'm sure that must be the number. Um, this is our show that we have every single week here on the channel over on Twitch, and I wanted to get into some of the exciting things going on in the nerdy world, some things that were submitted to Discord, everybody's favorite segments of the show, all sorts of fun stuff going on. But we always start the show uh, interacting with the chat. This is an interactive show. And we start with, what did you watch or play or read over the past week? What have you been into in the past week? So uh, be sure to drop those in the chat section. If you're listening to this or watching it over on YouTube, drop down in the comment section while you watch. This is a little bit of our show that we try and make sure we're intentionally interactive with to kick things off. I watched a new movie this past weekend from our 1001 Movies list. If you don't know what that is, uh, we're watching through the 1001 Movies to Watch Before You Die. And we're doing it uh, two movies a week at a time over on the Discord if you want to join that. Uh, it is a thread under our movies section. We're on like we're on an insane amount of movies, and I have definitely not watched half of them. But I did watch one this time. It was Strange Days. Strange Days um, with uh, Ralph Fiennes and um, Angela Bassett. Uh, who else? Who else? Who's Kingpin? Kingpin's actor. D'Onofrio. Isn't that his name? Something D'Onofrio. Watch that movie. Anyway, um, a very, a very strange, very strange movie. Uh, instantly, uh, instantly knew that this is what had inspired Cyberpunk 2077. If you have played Cyberpunk 2077, if you enjoyed the story, you would enjoy this movie. It's so cyberpunk. It's so grungy. It's so dirty. Um, I'm amazed that that movie was ever able to air because, who oh boy, did that movie have some real nasty and risque scenes. Do not watch it with your parents. Do not watch it with your children. I think it is rated R, but it should be rated uh, 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 adult, AO. It should be rated very adult because it was uh, had some quite shocking scenes and a lot of unexpected things happening. So I recommend it, but only if you're uh, down for that kind of drama. I played Tears of the Kingdom, of course. And then I read, I'm in the home stretch of the uh, manga Glepnir. Some of you may remember this as being the somewhat weird anime that popped up last year or two years ago. It was a couple seasons ago with uh, a guy that's in like a dog suit, like a mascot suit. And um, yeah, I've read the entire manga almost. I'm in the last three chapters. And let me go ahead and tell you, it just gets weirder and weirder. If you thought the anime was weird where you left off, uh, it only gets stranger. I think the mangaka has completely lost the tune of the show, has no idea what they're doing anymore. And uh, it's been a pretty miserable read for the past like 20 chapters. The beginning is great, really interesting, engaging, uh, builds a fascinating universe and a fascinating like friend group. It feels like a mixture of like this... Um, Alien society mixed in with like the the, the friendliness of a Stephen King um, work, and so it's like it's a weird it's a weird mod podge of ideas, but it has not ended well. So that is what I've watched, what I've played, what I've read in the past week. I'd love to hear what you have been up to. Zandos has wrapped up the RE4 remake. Now I'm 100% done and, and installed the game. Started Tears of the Kingdom. Watched. You went with friends over the weekend to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 again. Also have been watching Infinity War while folding laundry. Read uh, the Discord. Yep. Lots of that good stuff going on. Glad to hear it. With that, we're going to move right into... Oh, no, I can't. I don't have access to our slides. That's not good. Oh, i got to go all the way to that. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We'll be fine. Let's start with some of our trending headlines as we continue to, to get more comments and people talking about the things that they've been up to in the past week. Our first headline, hopefully these work today because I am coming in hot. First one is uh, all of the... Um, best-selling games from April. Obviously, the best-selling game uh, of the month was definitely going to be Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Nobody's too surprised about that, uh, that that was our first best-selling game of the month. Second was Dead Island 2, which kind of shocked me. I can't believe that that game like, actually is, is doing pretty well. I mean, I, knew, I know that like people love Dead Island, but the making of it was so messy, and I, I'm just I'm shocked. Um, I'm even more shocked by third place, which is MLB The Show 23. I guess sports games will be sports games, and those sports lovers will keep on buying them up and loving them. Um, and then, let's see, we have Resident Evil 4 Remake. 
uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Hogwarts Legacy, PGA Tour, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Pretty uh, thrilled to hear that that's happening. Uh, FIFA 23, and then somehow in 10th place, Remain Strong, Mario Kart 8. Don't know how that movie stays, or don't know how that game stays in 10th place for so long perpetually, but it does, and it's interesting enough to continue seeing um, these games stand strong in their slots, but no surprise, Jedi Survivor is popped up to the top. We'll have to see if they stay at the top of the ranks or now that people have played it, if it just kind of dwindles. Next piece of news. This one was also dropped over in the Discord, so this could technically be from the Discord, but uh, I was going to include it as one of our headlines anyway. Uh, Overwatch 2, they have announced, or Blizzard has announced rather, that the PvE mode is no longer going to be happening. Uh, it appears to have been entirely removed from the progress plan heading forward the timeline going into overwatch 2 this was kind of supposed to be the like big thing the big thing that they were wanting to do with uh with overwatch 2 so it's it's pretty surprising but i guess not all that surprising because it's just kind of the same game that's doing the exact same thing again I enjoyed Overwatch. I've enjoyed Overwatch 2, what little I played of it at the beginning there. I would love to get back into it because I really do think it's a fun game to play. However, I think that what people are there for is probably for new heroes being announced and for continuing up with their ranking system that they've already got installed. Um, it's bummer. It's bummer. Did not like the season pass format of Overwatch 2. I strangely missed loot boxes. Yeah, this the season pass was okay. I think the thing for me with any of these games, I'm just not good. I'm just not good at games as service. I do not keep up with the season pass. I get behind so immediately because I just don't have time in my day uh, to cram in uh, a, a couple rounds of Overwatch to check off the lists every time. So it just didn't work for me. I probably would have played a PvE mode. I uh, probably would have enjoyed a good story in the game, but it is what it is. And not much we can do about it. Blizzard's going to Blizzard. Hopefully they'll come back to it eventually. In uh, Memoriam News, the first voice actor of Crash Bandicoot, Brendan O'Brien, uh, has died at the young age of 60. Very sad to hear of his passing and to hear of his passing especially as young as he was. So for those fans of Crash Bandicoot, um, that's that's, a, that's a, a, a life we wanted to honor and memorialize during this time real quickly here. So best wishes and condolences to his family. Hope that they're all doing well. And um, just, just a, a hard loss to always hear about video game people. You know, video games seem like they're so young, so it's always surprising whenever we have people pass away within the community. But they are getting older, and uh, uh, every day is, you know, not promised. So it is hard to hear and sad to hear, but wanted to honor that life during this quick time here of the show. Next up, uh, Johnny Bravo has been unearthed and by that i mean one of the lost episodes of jbvo which was a fourth wall breaking spinoff series from johnny bravo if you're like who in the world is johnny bravo johnny bravo was a cartoon character um on cartoon network that uh was was a, a pretty a pretty famous uh character to people around my age and so this was exciting for me to hear. But pre-internet, we didn't really have a way of storing all the episodes and shows that came out. They were literally filmed on reels. And so there are some people that are hard working in preservation and working on uh, storing things in archives. And so they have officially found and released one of the episodes of JBVO that's been lost for a while, in which Johnny Bravo takes a call discussing Dragon Ball Z and the death of Frieza in that episode. So uh, there are only 28 episodes of the show and one of them was missing and now we have it. And that's an exciting and interesting thing. I think that archive work on the internet is fascinating. I think that archives of cartoons is a fascinating thing. Uh, I think that video game preservation, TV preservation, anime preservation is interesting. And so if you're interested in that as well, maybe the, you would find this curious. I do have the episode and have it downloaded from the Internet Archive, and I'm thinking about watching it over on the Discord. So keep an eye out for that. We might open up our Watch Only channel and watch it together just for old time's sake. But it was just a goofy time, kind of like the uh, uh, Harvey Birdman. Um, not Harvey Birdman. What am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? Uh, I can't remember. But there was always there was one show on Adult Swim. Um, maybe it was Harvey Birdman. I'll think of it eventually. But it's kind of that uh, late, late show uh, feel, fourth wall breaky feel where Johnny Bravo would interact with the audience. And in this particular one, he got a caller that talked about Dragon Ball Z. 
There we go. Next up. Uh, if you haven't heard about this, Amazon Games CEO is really pushing hard for a Lord of the Rings MMO um, being produced in the next couple of years. So uh, Amazon Games is trying their best to make things work. They've had some successful launches. They've had some flops. They've had a lot of announcements. Um, but most importantly, they put a whole bunch of money into a Lord of the Rings TV show, The Rings of Power, that nobody watched and nobody finished. So this is their latest hurrah and attempt to try and continue pushing the Lord of the Rings franchise and hopefully getting a little bit of interest in it. They want to create an MMO and they want it to be the biggest MMO of all time. We will see. I mean, of course you want your game to be the biggest of all time, but I am I am not counting my bets on it. There already was a Lord of the Rings MMO. There was. There was also a Matrix Online, all that sorts of stuff. Um, so it's worked before and been canned before. So we'll see. I don't think anything will ever dethrone the greats of World of Warcraft and uh, things like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm down to clown, down to see what they do, and hopefully they'll create something interesting enough. I think the bummer with Lord of the Rings is that it is already canon. It's already kind of happened. And you can play in the world if you want to, but not in the way that you can invent the world quite like a World of Warcraft. So... We'll see. We'll see what they do with it and if they're able to run anywhere with it. But I, again, would not hedge my bets on this being a success. Next up, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is being teased as a possible through line into the scene of the silver screen for Nintendo. With a wild success of the Super Mario Brothers movie, it shouldn't be too surprising that the creators of Legend of Zelda, including Al Numa, thinks that there's some kind of possibility for uh, Zelda to be made into a movie or TV series or something along those lines. I, again, this is another one, just like with the Amazon Lord of the Rings thing, I wouldn't hedge my bets on this. We've been hearing rumors about a Legend of Zelda TV show for years and years and years. The latest rumor mill is that there was like uh, a show that was actually in production. It got leaked, and because it got leaked, Nintendo canned the project. So Nintendo is a little bit petty and they're a little bit um, tentative about the silver screen and the storytelling that they have provided, but there's at least interest there. And if the developers and producers are interested in creating a film adaptation, maybe there's a chance that Nintendo will start to seriously consider it. It's no surprise to me that Miyamoto um, pushed his baby of Mario to the front of the line, but eventually if they're ever going to make a smash movie, which again would not hedge my bets, uh, they're going to need link and link is going to be an excellent character in there. I think the, the toughest part with link is the whole silent protagonist thing, but Hey, you know, who am I to judge? Maybe they'll make it work. Maybe they'll make something exciting out of this. But again, just wouldn't hedge my bets. Yes, Mario did well. Yes, Tears of the Kingdom is doing phenomenally. Does it mean we're going to see a movie or a TV series? Ugh, I doubt it. Yeah, that isn't silent. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. How could I be so foolish? Chris Pratt will voice Link 100%. 100%. Just for justice sake, I want Chris Pratt to come in and voice Tingle, dude. All right. With that, we're going to move on to our to the Discord part of the show. So this is news that has been submitted to us. You can always submit news to us at bit.ly slash DearTwig, D-E-A-R-T-W-I-G. Uh, you can drop any of news articles that you find interesting in there. Otherwise, we're going to go to the Discord and find the news. The first piece of news this week is actually submitted by me just because I thought this was fascinating. Maybe you agree. Maybe you don't. Maybe you scrolled right past it. But Dead by Daylight has announced a new character. They have yet to say whether this is a bad guy that will hunt you or whether this has been a playable main character that you can play as. Uh, but Nicolas Cage is joining the roster of Dead by Daylight, um, the classic horror hunting game where you are a play typically a camp teen trying to escape from a big bad. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know what this is going to do. If you've watched the trailer, it literally, it, I don't know. I don't even know what it's about. But we're going to learn more on July 5th. So stay tuned to Twig. We'll be sure to announce whatever in the world they do uh, with Nicolas Cage in this game and whether he's going to be a playable baddie. I can't imagine Nicolas Cage just ripping someone apart um, in a 1v5, but I, I, who knows? Who knows what will happen? It's Nick Cage. He's unpredictable. And I'm not going to lie, I am loving this era of Nick Cage, and I'm glad to see that he's kind of... Uh, honed in to that personality of himself. Hope he takes players' faces off. That's so good. Yes, absolutely. Well, I mean, 
Nick Cage has definitely played his fair share of insane characters, but I've never seen him as just like a completely brutal murderer. We shall see. Next up. Uh, Loki and Echo are the two Disney Plus shows that appear to remain green-lighted after the somewhat uh, harsh axe came down on Disney Plus shows earlier in the season. I think we reported on that at Twig. So um, this is what has kind of remained. It's interesting to me. It's almost the exact same flow um, of Loki and Hawkeye. So we really are keeping up with those two universes. No word on Miss Marvel, which would have come out a little bit after Hawkeye. Um, but it looks like Loki is starting October 6th of 2023. And Echo will drop all at once, which is interesting, on November 29th, 2023. I don't know if this means that Echo is just going to be drastically shorter. Um, or if they're kind of like, hey, we know this is a flop. And so we're just going to throw this all at you at once rather than worry about doing the episodic uh, nature that we know Loki deserves. So weird that they're doing it that way, but we will see how it works. No, no news on uh, Moon Knight. No news on Miss Marvel. Obviously, Miss Marvel is joining the Marvels, the movie coming out later in the later in the year. So. Maybe that's not why there's no Miss Marvel anything coming out, but it is interesting to me that both of these stay in the universe that we are already in, um, but nothing really new or experimental out there. I guess Echo is definitely new, um, but still in that Hawkeye lineage that we got from that show. With that, into our final piece of submitted news from the Discord, which is not here for whatever reason. So it's probably going to come up next. Um, but Disney Plus is combining officially with Hulu and ESPN Plus to make their own merger app. So uh, that is an interesting thing to see as we continue to see all of these apps growing into one combined form, uh, not unlike cable. So I think we're just working our way back into cable. I already think that uh, Disney Plus is too expensive and Hulu is too expensive and definitely with the ESPN is too expensive. So I can only imagine that combining them all together is going to make them even more ridiculously expensive. But maybe this is the opposite and this will be what it takes to lower that price a little bit since they're going to get a bundled deal and likely a higher amount over the course of a year. But I, again, am not holding my breath. With that, we're going to move into everybody's favorite point of the show. At this point in nerd history. That's right. These are all of the things that came out on May 18th throughout time and space and history. Only games and movies today, and then one random fact that we're going to throw in there. Um, but... For games, in 2015, Alt Space VR, one of the defining VR experiences that has led to VR chat and things like that, did drop today in 2015. Back in 2010, two kind of hallmark games, one definitely more famous than the other, but one pretty important to one of our members of our community in uh, H-Man. Uh, Red Dead Redemption dropped on this day in 2010, and then also on this day in 2010, Alan Wake uh, released. And then the year prior to that, in 2009, Punch-Out! received its like first entry in forever uh, on the Wii. So the Wii version of Punch-Out! dropped today in 2009. Movies back in time. 2018 today, on May 18th, uh, Deadpool 2, which doesn't feel like it came out that long ago, but apparently it did. Uh, 2007, Shrek the Third released, which I it was not the most recent Shrek. I think Shrek Forever After. And then technically we've had like this Puss in Boots uh, lineage hereafter. I don't know. Uh, we'll see if we get a, a Shrek the Fifth or whatever it is. But it did air, turns out, on the same day as one of its predecessors with the first Shrek dropping in 2001. Wii's Punch-Out is drastically worse than Super Punch-Out. Definitely, definitely. And then a random one for you, not related to games or movies, but just kind of related to tech, is that in 2012, on this day in history, was whenever Facebook officially uh, launched on NASDAQ. So it officially declared itself an entity and began to trade on NASDAQ. Pretty interesting stuff. And that has been... At this point in nerd history... With that, we're going to move in to upcoming releases, our penultimate section of the show. These are all the things coming out in the next seven days uh, over the course of time here, whether it be a game, a movie, or a TV show. We actually only have one TV show coming out this week, so that'll be a quick one and only three movies, but we have plenty of games as we always do. So let me know if any of these are ones that you're going to be playing or ones that sound interesting to you. Coming out today uh, in the world of games is Dead Hook. Uh, Firmament, 
I am future Pocket Mirror Goldener Traum and uh, the Outlast Trials, which I find concerning because I remember when Outlast Trials was announced and then we just haven't heard anything about it. But for those of you unfamiliar, it is basically Outlast, the classic horror game mixed with Saw. So you are trying to escape from Outlast things in community together, a co-op Outlast. We'll see how it does. And then X8 is also airing. Uh, Zando, I do not have that in there, so I'll include this because I normally don't include open betas, but Street Fighter VI open beta releases tomorrow. Also releasing tomorrow is Cyber Citizen Shockman and Lego 2K Drive. So if you enjoy that Lego experience of driving, uh, that should be pretty cool. If it's anything like the Hot Wheels expansion they've done in recent, e recent years, then I'm sure that'll be an excellent game. On the 22nd, we have Inkbound, the indie game that has been exciting many a viewer, and Paranormal Hunter. So if you like, uh, not Paranormal Sight, what's the name of it? What's the name of that hunting game? Not the, not the hunting game. The ghost hunting game that everybody loves so much. I can't remember. But there's a new, a new kid in town. So Paranormal Hunter will be dropping on the 22nd. On the 23rd, we have a new Amnesia game, Amnesia the Bunker. Blooming Business Casino. Bread and Fred. Farming Simulator 23. Uh, Glitch Busters Stuck on You. Miasma Chronicles. Minigame Madness. Planet of Lena. Puzzle Bobble Every Bubble, Star Trek Resurgence, Warhammer 40K Bolt Gun, uh, and then one that I'm particularly excited for, Ghost Pia Season 1. Can't wait to play that one. I've been looking forward to it for a while. Uh, it's an indie game that I anticipate we'll probably play on stream next Thursday. Movies coming out all tomorrow, as Friday usually does. Come Out Fighting will be releasing tomorrow. Fast 10 will be releasing tomorrow. Fast and the Furious, the latest in expansion there. Pineapple, you're, you're one that enjoys the ghost hunting game that I can't remember the name of. And then the reboot of White Men Can't Jump will be airing tomorrow. TV shows launching on the 24th will be a new TV show called Platonic on Apple TV, starring Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen. It's a comedy of two platonic friends. That's all we know. So uh, that'll be a show that I won't be watching, but let me know if you watch it and if it's something that you enjoy. And that has been your upcoming releases. So what out of that list excites you? What will you definitely be playing? What will you probably be passing by? What kind of uh, got your interest a little bit? I'm very curious about Inkbound. Very curious about Ghost Pia. Those are probably my two that are definitely going to be played. There were some others in there that I was a little bit curious about, but probably not too much. Phasmophobia. So if you like Phasmophobia, you might enjoy Paranormal, Paranormal Hunter. Uh, airing on the 22nd. If you enjoyed that Hot Wheels one, you might enjoy LEGO 2K Drive, uh, but we'll see about the other games if there's anything that you know of. Um, I am not excited about Fast 10, but if you like Fast and the Furious, it is definitely an exciting installment to that, so maybe that's for you. And if you're just a big fan of the, uh, the cult classic White Men Can't Jump, then maybe the reboot will be worth your time. I would be surprised, but you never know. It could happen. It happened with, uh, what was the name of that movie? With, uh, uh, uh Oh, what's his name? I can't remember. The Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill movie where they go back to high school and they're undercover cops. Ooh, I'm going to remember eventually. That one did well and nobody expected that reboot to do well either. So maybe it's going to be another one of those. 21 Jump Street. There we go. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Time will tell. We'll find out exactly what it does and whether it's any good. But with that, we're going to wrap up the show with our meme of the week. So our meme of the week is from me this week, and it involves uh, everybody's favorite Reggie fils uh, This was his post over on Twitter for Mother's Day. Uh, I got a big laugh out of it, so I had to share it here. Um, Reggie shared this meme, this piece of art, um, with <laughs> a little allude to the fact that Nintendo of America never released Mother 3, never released a uh, translation for it. Of course, there is a, fran a fan translation if you really wanted to play the game, um, but I thought it was a good a good goof and a gaff that Reggie uh, pokes a little fun at himself and acknowledges that whenever his his experience as, uh, as the president of Nintendo of America, he never released the game uh, like he really had that much say in it. He probably didn't. I imagine he could have released it if he really wanted to, but I doubt it was an active uh, thing that he decided not to do. But a little bit of drama there and a little bit of fun goofs and gaffs from the one and only Reggie, who we all love so much. With that, we're going to end the show as we always do um, by saying hello to YouTube. So uh, if you're here on Twitch, say hi to YouTube or bye to YouTube, really, because we're going to wrap things up. If you've watched this episode of Twig, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this kind of content and you watched this far, that means you probably did. Be sure to go like this video over on YouTube. Let me know this is kind of the content that you enjoy.
enjoy. Leave some comments down below about what you thought about the episode and things that you want to uh, to want to say about the news, about the games released, about any of my thoughts or takes along the way. I'd love to hear all that stuff down in the comment section down below. But we're going to end that with the three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, the God loves you like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here through shows like this, through content like this, through streaming on all these platforms, being in all these spaces. We do all this because we want community with you. And why we want that community? Because number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, and until the next time that I see you, be well. Bye-bye! And welcome back to our fine folks here on Twitch. Whew! I, I swear, you guys, I feel like I am firing on all cylinders right now. My brain is melted. I'm so behind and so distracted. We're gonna, we're gonna put our song schedule together, but I gotta make sure that everything is right and all the information is in there. Uh, and I gotta create a quick graphic. So I'm gonna make a quick graphic over on Canva and then we will do our song and then we will take a break and then we'll come back and we'll play some more Tears of the Kingdom. Whew, who's tired? Anybody else tired? Cause I am tired. Let's see who's down Who's down below that's joined us over the, over the time um, that I didn't say hello to already. Hello to, uh, I think ukulele is the only one I haven't, I haven't greeted so far. So welcome in. I'm a sleepy boy for show. Sure. Yeah, I'm real tired. But thanks for sticking through uh, through it all with us. Perry, uh, enjoy your lurk. And a slight headache is not helpful. Agreed. But appreciate all of you hopping in. Pineapple, hope your week has gone well. You're having a happy Thursday. We're glad that you're here with us. Just woke up, so maybe a little tired. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's put this schedule together. No! If there's anything bonus happening next week, I absolutely do not remember. Life is crazy. Late with Nate is Tuesday, Discord Wednesday, wait with Nate is 10 a.m. I think that's everything. I think this is the schedule. Uh, fair warning though, Pokemon Monday on Monday probably will be more cassette beasts. Next week will be a normal week. We will not be playing Tears of the Kingdom for every single stream. This has just been a fun little way to kick it off. Helen graduates from preschool? No, that can't be true. We're still anticipating whether or not Nora is going to be in preschool. Kindergarten visitation tomorrow. Oh my goodness, that just makes me want to vomit. How can that be? I do hate that I'm a little nasally this morning. Because you know who's not nasally is Adele. And if our song today is from Adele, then I'm not going to be doing a very good cover what with my nasally nature. I'm going to have to tune. It's another thing that I normally do before I start stream. string that pesky B string I do think this song is a little high and so that's probably I'm gonna need to probably gonna need to put capo tune it down a little bit drop it an octave maybe do like a capo three and drop it an octave check a level here.
Man, I'm really behind. That stream delay is insane. Let's see if closing out will help. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. There's a fire starting in my heart. Oh, wait, hang on. Spoofy's still on. I thought I paused Spoofy. We could have had it all. That's real high. We could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. Let's try it. Let's see how that sounds an octave down. And now let's see if the verse, if that dropped the verse too low. There's a fire starting in my heart. Teaching a fever pitch and it's bringing us back to start. Let's hear it. That's fine. It'll do. I think I think Capo 3 will do. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this on the screen. This is our schedule for the week. For those of you that have not joined us in the past couple months, we've been doing a song schedule every single week here on stream. And this is our schedule for the week of uh, week 21 of the year. And uh, hopefully it'll sound okay. Hopefully it'll sound okay. This is Adele uh, rolling in the deep and um, I fed it to an AI. I fed our schedule. I'm gonna start over because I'm rambling, okay? I'm going to start over because I'm rambling. All right. I fed our schedule for the week here at Checkpoint Church to ChatGPT along with a random song from the top 100 over on Ultimate Guitar. This week it was Rolling in the Deep by Adele. I am not Adele. And uh, so we'll see how we do with this one. But this is our schedule for the week according to uh, Adele and ChatGPT. If the lyrics make no sense, as they often do, I've put the schedule here as well. But this is just a little gimmick to help make our schedules a bit more entertaining than just an image shared on social media. So enjoy this hopefully okay rendition of uh, Rolling in the Week. I like that, right? Rolling in the Week. That's pretty good. Rolling in the Week by Nadell. Nadell. Nerd Pastor Nadell. Here we go. There's a sermon starting in my heart. Guardian steam pitch and it's bringing us to the start. Monday I'll stream some cassette beasts. Go ahead and join me and we will share some feasts. See how I'll lead with every piece of you. Don't underestimate the games that we will do. There's a late with Nate coming soon. Reaching a gaming pitch and it's under the moon, apparently. The joy of our streams reminds me of us. They keep me thinking that we almost had it all. The joy of our streams, they leave me breathless. I can't help feeling we could have had it all. Rolling in the stream, you had my heart. Oh, wait. You had my heart inside of your hand. I can't remember how the part goes. And you played it to the beat. They just didn't change that part at all. Well, Wednesday, I have a discord to be told. That means nothing, but I've heard every one of you, and I'm going to make your head turn. What does that mean? Ooh, think of me in the depths of our server, making a home down there as mine sure won't be reserved. What does that mean? 
The joy of our streams reminds me of us. They keep me thinking that we almost had it all. The joy of our streams, they leave me breathless. I can't help feeling we could have had it all. Rolling in the stream, you had my heart inside your hand. And you played it to the beat. I don't know the rest. <laughs> not our best. Not our best work here. Chat GPT, you did not nail it. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you know, look, folks, they can't all be winners. <laughs> What's funny is that the... um. The like echo part, so you know with, with Adele how it's like the We could have had it all Never had made me You know that part? Um That was the most appropriate part. So it's You're gonna wish you joined a stream Laughs are gonna fall Rolling in the stream like that actually makes the most sense because we do laugh during stream and you do wish you joined our stream What doesn't make any sense? <laughs> Chat GPT is uh, The rest of it. Okay, all of the rest of it including Wednesday I have a discord to be told but I've heard one of you now. I'm gonna make your head turn that doesn't rhyme <laughs> Oh Take that AI You can't do it after all no, so this is what we get. <laughs> this is what we get for me coming in hot because I absolutely did not have time. Normally I will do these before stream and I'll give them a look over and kind of like fix and edit. I still make it so that the AI does all the work, but I also do a lot of work. <laughs> I also do a lot of work to make it better. So very funny stuff. We're gonna take a quick break um, after that masterpiece of a song. Uh, because we try to break, take a break every hour here on stream to try and rest our bodies, rest our minds, rest our eyes, get a snack, do whatever you can to take a quick break for yourself. And we'll be back in, uh, in about three minutes with some Tears of the Kingdom. So enjoy your break, get some rest, relax, and we'll see you soon. Still, still waiting. Weesh tip. So there you go. The the the, the tips are auto loading. Be weesh tip. But for some reason the alerts are not cents. popping up. Pog 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 you. Why is it so awful? How do I follow the race? How do I follow the race? Oh no! What's happening? I can't follow the race. <laughs> oh whoa. Okay. Uh oh. All right. Mom, I'm the greatest gamer. Mother. Mother, did you hear? Did you hear that I'm the greatest gamer? It's true. I don't remember anything else about Squirtle. He's doing a T-pose, though. <laughs> I accidentally threw him in T-pose, dude. <laughs> All right, T-pose Squirtle. <laughs> well, Squirtle, Squirt, Squirtle. This is Squirtle, man. That's 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 a cursed Squirtle as well. We're just getting all the cursed things out of the way first, dude. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, congrats. <laughs> Congratulations, Christine. <laughs> We have a good time, don't we? Ooh, don't we have a good time? Brrr. Full screen, I'll do it. <laughs> we don't talk about checkpoint. No, no, no. Right. What happens when you're gonna redeem a gotcha bump from now on? Like Scoob, I guess we better see what's inside of this gotcha bump. I'm a little scared. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear Shaggy? Did you hear my buddy? By Nor Unahar. So that's pretty hype. 
Uh -oh. Good evening, uh -oh. ladies uh -oh. and now gentlemen. Now I can't hear it again. This is your captain speaking. Why? Hello. Why is this come? thing on? Testing. Oh, one, I'll go to the other one. Two. I'll go to the other two, one. Two. Two. Every hundred dollars, you'll get to hear a page from my book that I wrote when I was ten years old. It's super cringe and embarrassing. Every five hundred dollars, we're gonna do a quiz that have been sent to us. You mask, you mask, and cough, 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 How do you say that? Cough, 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 Okay, your mask is fine. Your mask gets a C. This guy can't understand his name. F. Destroy. Destroy him. Bad name. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're gonna get right back into. Oopsie, forgot to turn that back on, huh? Uh, we're gonna get right back into some good old Tears of the Kingdom goodness. So uh, hopefully all will go well there. Folks, I'm a little over, I'm a little, I'm a little under, really, 25 hours. I'm right at the, right at, right at the 25 hour point um, in my personal playthrough. So here I go, doing the best we can, uh, trying to play two games at once and keep up as best as I can with our checkpoint play. I hope that you're enjoying Tears of the Kingdom. As I mentioned, this will be our pretty much last Tears of the Kingdom uh, playthrough uh, regularly. Like, with every stream won't be Tears of the Kingdom from this point on. We'll probably... I haven't decided if I want it to be our Monday stream or our Thursday stream or how often I want to do it or whatever, but we'll... We will figure it out, but I understand that a lot of people are disappointed. Not disappointed. A lot of people aren't watching because they don't want things spoiled, and so I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings by continuing to do that. So, we're in kind of a weird spot, and I want to make sure that I honor your time and your space, and so that's why we're... If, if you've noticed, we're like a little in between what we're doing. Um, that is the reason why. One thing I've not really taken a lot of time to explore is uh, is the depths or vice versa, the, uh, the skies. But what we really need to do and how we really need to spend our time during this stream is probably going through and either we are going to try Death Mountain, which I don't know how we could possibly do that because we do not have the required um, vegetables and, and things cooked. Um, we did just make a bunch of new food, so we have a lot of options. But none of this food will keep us from bursting into flames. And so I'm, I don't remember what we actually need to help with that or where we get it. Um, so I may, I may turn to Legoog real quick and see if I can find anything. Going to be mostly lurking since you are ahead of me. Totally get it, Cam. Totally get it. Thanks you. Thank thank you for being here nonetheless, and for being a part of Twig and hanging out with us. Um, where to get um, heat resistant armor? Tears of the Kingdom. See, but how am I going to not burst into flames to get there? <laughs> 1,400 rupees? Ooh. I wonder if 700 is enough, if just the armor is enough to keep me from bursting into flames. Um... Heat resistant food, all in the Gerudo stuff, or chillfin trout, cool safflina. No, not not warming, cooling, cooling. Oh no, that is right. That is right. Okay, so Gerudo Desert's gonna be the best bet for me. It sounds like. Or I just try not to die. Let's go hard mode. <laughs> Let's just go hard mode with it. Why not? So we need to go to Goron City. Which, let's see if we can find it. It's got to be this right here, don't you think? Is that Goron City? Hang on. Shouldn't have closed out of it, was I thinking. Welcome in, by the way, John. Glad you're here. Welcome into the chat. Goron City, Goron City. 
whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, right where I said. Okay. So we're just gonna go for it, I guess. <laughs> we're gonna try not to die. Everything we can do to not die. That's our game plan. That's what we're gonna go for. And uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna try all that we can and hopefully get the flame breaker. The reason I'm doing this, folks, is because I want to play out of order because I've already played the water temple and the wind temple. And so I feel like I, I owe you guys the opportunity to see me play something different than something I've already done so that you can get a somewhat genuine reaction out of me. And so we're gonna we're gonna try our best to get that beautiful flame breaker armor so that we can survive. Come on. This looks like a good standing spot. Yeah. No. <laughs> Come on. Is there any speeding up? There he is. All right. Let's go ahead and get some speed up potion. What's up, H man? Welcome in. How is MSI doing? Are you winning, son? Or I guess are they winning? Mostly lurking as well. Just by the game. Woohoo! Welcome to the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Well, I will not be spoiling anything really until we get to a certain point. So right now, no spoilers. All right, hopefully I can make it to the top with that much energy. I sure hope so anyway. They are going to game five, so it's going to be a nail biter. HB, I remember you mentioned going to a Ren Fair. Did you tell me when? When is the Ren Fair that you're going to? Is it this weekend, or is it a little a little ways off still? June. Okay, so you got time. Right before conference. Whew! We barely made it. We barely made it, but we did it. This should make things a whole lot easier. Keyword is should. So hopefully, we'll be able to just gun it until we can get to the point that we need to be to get that Flame Breaker armor. Theoretically, I, I'm hopeful that just having the breastplate... Please tell me I have 700. I thought we were in my game! Oh, no. There's no way we're going to be able to afford it. Oh, no! Well, at least pinging the city, we'll be able to go make some, make some uh, rupees real quick. Man, I totally thought we were in my game this entire time. That, is, that has seriously thrown me off, is playing in a different play file. We might go twice because we are excited and don't want to wait for our friends. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Chat, who's been to a Ren Fair? Who goes every year? Where are my Ren Fair peeps at? And who has no idea what I'm talking about? Refill that stamina bar. Have no idea. It's a Renaissance Fair. Renaissance Fair. Often called a Ren Fair. Discovering it's a whole culture we never know about. Oh yeah, it's a thing. I would say it is it is LARP adjacent. I don't think it's quite LARPing. I mean, some people might call it LARPing, but it is it is I I would just define it as LARP adjacent. And cosplay adjacent, really. It is tough with the Pro Controller. I will say that. We're close. Is that the Goron City one? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, please don't fall. I 
I think we've done it! Okay. Is this a shop? It is, but I do not see the armor. You must not be the armor person. Oh, you've also got the red eyes! Okay, but he will buy my stuff. Let's see if I, I can make enough money. Oh, thank you, H-Man. I didn't even see what those comments might have said. Please don't come in here and troll, folks. We have very few rules here at Checkpoint. Oh, it's spam. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Spam I can handle. Guess I could sell some food. It's just not worth much. Okay, so we just gotta find a, um... We just gotta find a... Man, they're so rude! No. We gotta find... A shrine. Because I'm nowhere near being able to afford the armor. So if we can find a shrine, I can go rupee hunting. Oh, there we go. That's probably where it is. If we can find a shrine... Oh, they're all... They've all got those creepy red eyes. Or you're not breaking all their pots! There you go. Alright. This is, I'm pretty sure, 700. Yeah. So we got a long way to go. I need to find a shrine. There's gotta be one nearby. Boom jams. Good. It's a blue one. Alright. If we can get to that shrine, then we can go rupee hunting. In truth, the breaking all the pots method doesn't work very well in this game, especially not for rupee hunting. You really want to find gems. This game kind of, uh, kind of, Breath of the Wild too, kind of made breaking the pots not as fun. In my humble opinion. But I'm gonna need that heat resistant armor. So at least now we have the shrine. What comes over from Breath of the Wild? Characters, uh, your name, I think, and also the um, horses. I'm sure there's more, but those are the things that I know of so far. Things that I've noticed so far. Wield Wonders. I've not done this shrine before, so. Get ready to learn with me, folks. Let's figure out how to do it. What's that? What's that? Not armor and inventory new. No, you start you start anew. <laughs> I guess. I guess that'll do. <laughs> Not the best looking bridge. But it, it'll it'll work, I suppose. Oh, I think I know what to do. Let's see if I've got the right idea here. How do I move it? I wanna. It's too heavy. He's too heavy. What? Okay, I guess I was wrong. Um, let us do it the other way then. If one is a weird shape... Uh, come here. One is a weird shape. Then take the one that's not a weird shape, huh? How do I turn off gyro controls? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it with this pro controller. It's awful. What's up, taco dudes? How we doing, my friend? Hope you're well. Let's just see if this works. <laughs> yeah, I could have figured. Okay. <laughs> I tried. I tried real hard. Yeah. 
Oh no, I fell in the lava. I didn't even notice. I was so focused on the thing that I didn't look at the thing. How we been, Taco Dudes? It's been a while. How's life treating you? I hope all is well. <laughs> Come on! Come on, you wheeled wonder, dude! Ay, ay, ay. Oh my goodness, this thing is awful. Not a not a fun puzzle. Go! Please! Please! No! Not the opposite direction! Maybe I can make the jump. Come on! Bogus! And I have no health. Oh my goodness. Well, whatever. I wanted to start that one over, honestly. Pretty good. Having a nice day off school to spend even more time playing this game. Same. Same. Not enjoying this puzzle so far, though. Not a fan. Really might have to, um, other side. Really might have to turn off the gyro. I think that's gonna have to, that's gonna have to turn off. Come on now. Okay, we must, we're also gonna resync. We're also gonna resync real fast. Boink. Disable. No. Enable. Okay. Much better. Immediately better. Okay, this time we're not gonna mess with it. Come on then. Come on then. Okay. Okay. Come on. You know what I want! You know what I want! I know you know what I want. I know that you know what I want. Wrong way! Wrong way, you moron! Holy moly. That one's on me. That one's entirely on me. Nope. Wasn't even paying attention. I was so excited to have the thing actually functioning. Oh boy. Are we gonna have to start this one over again? I mean, is it just gonna- is it just gonna do it? I need it back! Wow! Ah, why is this so awful? Why is this one so terrible? What is happening? <laughs> okay, can I die again? How many health? How much health do I have? Can I try again? Because it's impossible to reset this thing once it's gone. I must have had two hearts. I'm gonna die. I gotta. St I gotta start over. And this time I'll put it the proper direction. Goodness gracious. Game over. Thank you. Y'all, I promise I'm a little bit better at this game. Oh no, come on! Now I'm dead. Goodness gracious. I mean, I'm not good at this game, but I'm a little bit better. Just stop attempting. I want the right method, because I don't know another one. There probably is another one. But I like the- I like the intended method. I want to do it. I feel good about it. If it would just stop being so- such a goofy goof. You don't think you've done a single shrine correctly? I've done- I've done a couple correctly. Some of them I'll get tired of and I'll do like the rocket- the rocket shield. That's, that'll typically... I've, I've found that the rocket shield will finish just about any of them. Okay, you doof. No. Wrong way. Connect the way I want you to. Connect the way I want you to! That is not the way I want you to. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah, I love the shrines. Whoopsie. Wrong. I love the shrines, HBM. I think they're a real delight. Okay. That was what I meant to do from the very beginning. But I've learned now, don't touch the bridge. Don't touch the bridge. If you touch the bridge, you're done for. Don't touch the bridge. What's over here? What are you? Hmm. Okay. What can you float across? That's what you're trying to tell me? I don't believe you. I don't really trust you. I don't know if it's just a playstyle difference for me, but I didn't enjoy shrines in Breath of the Wild, but the ones in this game are extremely enjoyable. I enjoyed both of them so far. I've enjoyed all of the above. I mean, let's just find out what happens, you know? How bad could it be? How bad could it be? See, this is fine. Where's the bonus chest? I haven't found the bonus chest yet, and I'm real, real concerned about that. Ooh, there's the bonus chest. Hello there, buckaroo. What are you? Nope. What, pray tell, are you? Can I climb you to get up here? Looks like it. By the way, H-Man and Sneaky, I promise I'm not ignoring your conversation. I just have no idea what y'all are talking about, and so I'm just letting you... I'm just letting you enjoy this space of conversation. Why wouldn't I be able to... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. What you gonna get? Rupees? Nope. League of Legends, yes, yes. I am I am aware, but I do not know anything about it. I have not been watching at all. No, my camera. All right, camera's gonna take a quick three-minute break. Okay, Google, set a three-minute timer. Thank you. What do you think this is? What do you think? What do you think this puzzle is? What's happening? Why are all, why are these here? What? Am I supposed to launch them? Why couldn't I just drop them through? Why can't I just do? Why can't I just do that right there? But why? Does it have to be a hard hit or something? <laughs> but why though? <laughs> but why though? I guess it has to be launched over the fence, but I don't really understand the reason behind such. I also don't really understand why they gave me a car. What exactly is happening here? What is happening here? Am I making like a launcher of some sort? Hmm. What am I not seeing here, folks? What am I not getting? I don't I don't even know what the puzzle wants. Just gave me a million of these. What does it want? Why are these holes here? Does it just want all of the balls? Is it like a weight thing? Okay, well that one's on me. 
Look, that one's on me. Am I supposed to? Oh! Got it. Got it. It's just giving me the option to do the old scoop. <laughs> that did not work. I guess I didn't go at a hard enough angle. But it worked. <laughs> oh, man. This game, dude, is so broke. It's so broke. I can proudly say I ignored the actual enemies in the tower unlock puzzle, spent 20 minutes making an airship to fly over all of them, and succeeded. Which puzzle are we talking about? The one that's like, uh, got the, uh, the, has the open door and had the thing locked? All this just for some rupees. Oh man, this game. I can't believe that worked. So yeah, it just wanted me to make a little snowplow. Now I got it. Oh, the Great Plateau Tower. I see, I see. I thought you meant like a sky view. Oh no, yeah, you do. Have I seen that one? I've definitely not done that one in this playthrough. Is it this one? I'll have to remember. I've solved that one in my personal playthrough, but I haven't solved that one here yet. Okay, let's go make some rupees. Let's go make some rupees. Best way to do that is probably gonna be just to wander and find some caves. So... Let's just go unlock some Skyview Towers. Let's go do that one that, uh, that, um, Taco's talking about here. I do need a horse, though. Oh, that's a long way to go with a horse. I'll find a horse. I'll find a horse, but I do need some rupees. And I'm gonna need some rupees. So we'll just wander, we'll find some caves, we'll destroy everything in those caves, and hopefully find some gems. Sell some gems, make some rupees. Should be fun. Raid any bacoblins that we find. If you're a glitcher, you can do the diamond duplication glitch. I am not a glitcher. Wouldn't even know where to begin. Not opposed to it. Just blissfully unaware. I am going to need to find a horse, though. Either a horse, or I could try and make some sort of vehicle. But that would require me finding... Oop, hello! Take me to your cave! I'd like to say I am not, but I needed a quick 2,000 rupees. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you need it. Oh, it's these guys. Some are dead. Some are dead! I got really nothing for you. We'll try this flame emitter, and hopefully it'll handle you. Ooh, didn't even see you, my friend. Aww. Poor guy. Poor guy. Thank you. Please be rupees. Thank you. Alright, good news is it does look like we have some caves back here, so hopefully... Hopefully there'll be some gems. Take the arrows while I'm here. If you're gonna raid... Might as well raid properly. 
No? Yes! Come on, gems. Rock salt. Delightful. Ooh, bomb flower. I'll take that. Okay, let's see if he gave me some rupees, hmm? Not counting on it. Spiky spear. Bubble frog. Hello there, friend. Whoop, whoopsie. You'll, you'll usually stay on wall. I am not used to you not staying on wall. Ooh, hearty truffle. I'll take it. Thank you for a gem. Thank you for jam, booble throw. Amber, that's fine. It's not great. Sticky lizard. Okay, well, overall a waste of a cave. Cool. Waste of a cave. Come here. Okay. See, where are we progressing? That way. Ooh, a shrine. Oh, don't make me go back down, Korok. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Yi. I don't want to get down here. I wanted to continue on my way. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll get down. That is one of the things that I've noticed. The, um, jumping off a ladder does not work. The amount of times that I've tried to let go from a ladder and have successfully let go, it has been, like, one for every hundred attempts. Okay. Let's go to you, my friend. Another one over there, it looks like. Oh, that's the whole stable. Wolperf! Look for any booble frogs along the way. How many temples have you got, Taco? Or have you already beaten the game? I am halfway there. Two, two out of four temples down. Haven't done a single one, just explored. The temples are fun. I think they're a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed them. I've especially enjoyed... I especially enjoyed the water temple. The wind temple was fun once you got to it, but who boy getting there was a pain. Had I known all the exploits, it would have been a whole lot easier, but I did not know the exploits at the time. A little sidetracked attempt to get every single piece of armor. Ooh. I do like armor. No, wait. Not my rock hammer. Anything but my rock hammer. Well, I have no armor in this play, and I think I don't even I don't think I have a complete set of armor in my personal playthrough yet. I have bits and pieces. So dag. And we go. Into the brink. Another one. Shrine time once again, baby. Oh, I remember this one. Here. I'm enjoying the game a whole lot more on my personal playthrough than uh, on a pro controller. You would think a pro controller would be better, but I have had a miserable experience with a pro controller. Gotta be real. Wait, I'm gonna go grab it. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Why are they that way? All right, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll do. Long as it does what it needs to do. Blah. No. <laughs> No! <laughs> no! Stop it! Pro Controller! Please! I beg of you. Oh, I needed that. Is it too far? Woo! Just in time. Only just now on my way to Rito Village. Enjoy Rito Village. It's a delightful experience. Prime example of me doing every ta- or being very on task here, I'm now doing the Depths Coliseum Challenge. I love the Depths, Taco Dudes. I think the Depths are so fun. I'm so glad to hear that you're also enjoying them. Because I've just had a rip roaring time with them. I haven't done the Coliseum, but I do think I've found the Coliseum. We're gonna use all four here. I don't know if all four are necessary. Be fun to see on a stream, but once I get there, for sure. That's honestly what I'm kind of I'm kind of between, and I would love some advice from people that watch the streams. Um So I'm doing two playthroughs, right? I'm doing my I'm doing my playthrough here on checkpoint and I'm doing my personal playthrough. So now that we've kind of had like a week of experiencing things for the first time. I'm undoubtedly going to beat this game before I beat it on stream, obviously. And so should I, should I continue? Uh oh, I'm not going to make it in time. Oh no, I was so close. It's fine. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's fine. <laughs> Come here. Um, I guess I could have done the ascend thing. This works too, though. Uh, should I, now that we're like a week out from release, all that sort of stuff, should I find fun things to do and bring them to stream rather than continuing to play through? Or should we continue our playthrough and whenever I find something fun like a Coliseum that I can do on my personal play, bring that over to this one? I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't decided what to do or how to continue playing. Oh boy, it's so much further off than I thought it was. Ah, oh, come on. I don't want to deal with you right now. Well, I guess that's a spoiler for anybody that didn't know the trees are alive. You learned about him the hard way. I learned about him from Hestu. Welcome back, Perry. Ooh, I'll take a well. Sometimes wells have gems. Rarely, but sometimes. 
this is one of those not occasions. <laughs> it was worth a shot, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it's very surprising. Very surprising, Stain. Oh, I love fortified pumpkins! Who doesn't love a fortified pumpkin? Okay. I don't really feel like dealing with this, Hinox. Do I have any sneaky stuff? I do. Hopefully this will be enough. That I don't have to crouch. You're kidding. Bye. See? <laughs> See you later! I really thought that, that with stealth up it'd be fine. Bye! Whomping will me into non-existence. Ooh, I do see a booble frog. Hello, booble frog. Go, friend, go. Show me your cave. Please tell me there are gems. Go. Quicker. Quicker. Show me. Show me. What? I have to, I have to pick up rupees? Come on. Can't just walk over them. That's fine. It's fine. Oh, not like likes. Ugh. I don't want to deal with you guys. No. Is it really just bombs? Man, I don't want to deal with you guys, dude. Show me a move. Nope. Come on, dude! Come here. Come here. Show me a move. Please! Show me! Thank you. Yeah, you can always dodge. What do you mean? Oh. Or do you just mean, can I personally dodge? I rarely dodge. Get up. Get up! Oh, that thing. I'm not much for dodging. Kind of want that bomb flower, but it's not that bad. Oh, hello, friend. He looks kind. Hello, Bubble Frog. I knew you were here somewhere. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, is it going to soft lock me into. I don't feel like doing that right now. I don't want to do the geoglyphs. I got no love for the geoglyphs. Why 
Why is that song stuck in my head? Do I have to activate your quest, or can I just do the thing for you? Will you still pay me if I just do it for you? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta do it. Okay. Uh, we'll activate your quest. Yeah. She's gonna ask me to help her. I'm gonna have to put the wheels on, and then I have to bring her a horse. Mm. Good luck. No! Oh, I gotta do it again. Come on! I don't want to talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay. Now. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy to miss things in this game. Easy to miss it. Don't forget to talk to the Gazette people too, because they start a whole a whole quest line when you get there. You said you got Dorito Village, right? You've definitely been to the Gazette, or you've passed the Gazette. Yeah, I always talk to all the people. Pretty much everyone that I see, I talk to. What horse should we get her? I'm gonna give her the brown horse. Brown horse with the blonde hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You're okay. I've got you. Oh, what an awful horse. Only got two two spurs. Alright, it's been claimed. Stay. Stay. Got your horse then. Got your horse. I am getting very distracted on my quest for rupees, though. Mm -hmm. Yep, just give me your life savings now. Thank you. 400 left. 400 left. We're almost there, folks. We're making headway. The joy of this game. I'm very distracted. Yep. That's pretty much how this game do. That's how it works. I'll take that flint. I'll take that wood. Pro tip. Always take the flint. Always take the wood. Never know when you might need it to fly. Get away. Yay! Also, always go down the cave. Always go in the well. Always get the bubble frog. Uh, sure. My thing is, now you've used my rock hammer a whole lot. I don't like it. Rock mop. Rock mobbing off. Nice! We're halfway there. Whoa! We almost have the flame armor. Wouldn't it be easier to just go in the proper game order, probably? A shrine. Let's 
Sinekawik. I'm in a candy mood today. That is going to be the problem with these Thursday streams. Is I'm like streaming through when I normally eat lunch. And so I'm going to snack. And that's not good. You don't want to snack. Nobody wants to snack. Ooh, shiny objects. Indeed. An uplifting device. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Okay. I remember. I remember. Oh, come on. Well, oh, oh. I guess that works. <laughs> that wasn't what I was trying to do, but we'll, we'll take it. Sure, sure. Why not? Wait, wait, no! Aw, oh, man. <laughs> now that wasn't the plan. <laughs> that indeed was not the plan. I got distracted. I got excited. I was gonna, I was gonna save resources, and I was gonna use it twice. Man, bummer. No! Why does this? Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. This should be fine. We'll be all right. No, no, stop it, stop it. I think it's right here, isn't it? Twas. Rootin' dootin' dootin' doot doot. Is it all down there? Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? Hang on. Bye, camera. Oh, give me a break. I was I was distracted by the camera. Okay. It's definitely not my ineptitude. It's the cameras. <laughs> Doopy 
Thank you. What could it be? Rupees? No. No, rupees. <laughs> Alright, where to now? Where to now? I will not be distracted anymore. I am focused. I am driven. I guess I should go get a horse. Ooh, no, wait, I'm gonna go raid that. Ooh, no, wait, I'm gonna go get a horse. I don't know if I have a fast horse. You got a fast horse. I got a ticket anywhere. Oh, does that mean I got my harness? Oh, it's just Gavin. We're gonna go get another horse. We're gonna go get a faster horse. You got a fast horse, and I'm gonna take it anywhere. All right, folks. Left, middle, or right? Left, middle, or right? Which one are you feeling? Left, middle, or right? First one I see in the chat is the one I'll go for. Middle, says Taco. Middle it is. Blue Horse. Bluey! That horse is unhappy. All right, there, you beaut. All right, there, you beaut. You're gonna be mine. No, no, you're gonna be mine. You're gonna- No, 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 you're gonna be mine. No, no. You're gonna be- It's fine. It's fine. Calm down. You're gonna be mine. Oh, only two. Nope, not this one. Next up. Who's next? Left or right? Who are we feeling? Right, says Mayfly. And I got a good feeling about you. I got a good feeling about you, Speedy. Yeah! Oh, no! Oh, no! He's a fighter! It's fine. It's fine. We got this. It's fine. We got this. It's gonna be easy peasy. Easy peasy. No problems. No problems here. You're all right. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you, baby. I got you, baby. It's okay. Only two. Come on. Where are all these horses? All right. Last but not last but not least. Hopefully, you got more than two spurs on you. Otherwise, you are definitely not getting registered. We're just not getting anybody registered today. Don't get spooked. Don't get spooked. You're okay. No, no. No, you're okay. You're all right. Only two spurs. Yeah, none of them are any good. Okay, well, let's just ride you over to the, to the, uh, it's all right. You're okay. It's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there's more. Left, middle, right. <laughs> we'll go in the same order. Or no, we'll try for another bluey. We'll try for another bluey. Why not? One of them's got to be a better horse. Ain't no way we're going to get six horses and none of them are going to have more than two spurs. I'd like a five spur horse. No, no, eh, no. Bluey. I got you. I got you. Three spurs will do. I'll take it. Not ideal. 
enough to go fight this settlement at the very least. It's okay. You're all right. Listen, I'm gonna go get into a fight real fast, okay? You just you just stay here. I'll be right back. We weren't aware. We weren't aware. We weren't aware. I don't know if I have the right... I don't know if I have the proper materials here. Uh... I probably... I probably should have assumed, considering that it had the thing on it. But I didn't... I didn't make that assumption. Okay, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna take them down first. Nope, too low. We're gonna take them down first. We're fine. We're fine, folks. We got this. Come on. We're doing great. Okay. We're fine. Look, we're fine. We got this. Easy. Ah, so close. All right. What we're going to need... Oh, perfect. No! <laughs> I didn't see him rearing up! Man! <laughs> That's on me. That's on me. We're fine. We're fine. We got it. I definitely was not expecting him. Um, and he probably won't give me anything that we really need. So this is, once again, being distracted by shiny things. Not ideal. Not ideal. He might, though. He might give us some rupees. And we could really use some rupees. My issue is that I don't really have a lot of sledges. Man, I got that shot off so beautifully, too. Ah, I thought I had it. Oh, come on. I really don't have that many bombs. Would you stop? Look, you are, look, you are inconvenient here, friend. Aw, oh, come on. Don't you throw it. Don't you do it. No, there's a bomb. There's a bomb. Don't throw it! I asked you not to. In, in all fairness to me and mine, I asked you not to do that. And then you did. And then you did. Now, out of a matter of principle, I've got to, I've got to destroy this thing. Oh. Now it's a principle thing. Now it's a matter of honor. Oh, come on! Now that's some absolute nonsense. How did you notice me? Gar garbage. Absolute garbage. Simply not true. Okay. Now. 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 
Let's see. Did I not enable it? Officially defeated the Depths Coliseum. Nice. No, turn around. Turn around. Uh, in this playthrough for Checkpoint, we haven't beaten a temple yet. In my personal playthrough, I am two temples deep. And I wasn't planning on fighting this guy, but now it's a matter of principle. No! No! Oh, man! So close. Fourth tries to charm. Fourth tries to charm. Mm -mm -mm. I was so close, too. No, I totally got it. There's no Icarus situation going on here. Yeah. I'm absolutely gonna- I'm gonna win. Haven't been to a temple. I got most of the towers yet. I am- yeah, I'm two temples in. About 25 hours deep. I just landed on my horse. That was amazing. Still think it's kind of garbage. That somehow they, um, uh, they noticed me. I wonder if the Dazzle works on, um... Works on the, the, the rock. I doubt it. Ah! It's fine. He hasn't officially noticed me yet. Garbage! Homie! Homie! You have to stop. They are not noticing me. There's just no way they're noticing me. Nice. Okay. Now then. Now then. Can we please do this without throwing? No more throwing things. I'm a little close. I'm a little closer than I'd like to be. Yeah, too close. We're going to steer clear this time. Nope. Don't you dare. Where's the fire? talking about <laughs> I knew I had him I knew I had him there was no doubt more candy I got a problem I got a problem with candy a bunch of amber not a single diamond what is this thing mmm I don't have a single weapon to attach it to. <laughs> Some kind of nonsense. Better be rupees. Ah, no! That is not a rupee! Not a rupee. All right, where's my horse? 
Did you wait for me, Bluey? You did! You really love me! Can we buck me? No! Okay, good. You must be a gentle one. I'll take a gentle temperament. Do you know if you feed a horse five to ten apples, it will max out the loyalty? No, but it's alright. I ride him around so much that it typically maxes it out. Inevitably. Yeah, just an okay horse. Just an okay horse. Just all right. Yes, I would like to take the horse. Okay. Well, nope. Let's go find us a cave. You found and unlocked all the great fairies? Do a temple, Hunter Vam! Taco, do you realize that between the two of you, neither one of you have done a temple, and you've both done so much else in the game? <laughs> do a temple! What are y'all thinking? You're cracking me up. Found all of the fairies. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have unlocked every single collectible in the game, but I haven't yet. Uh, Gavin's in the barn. Gavin's in the barn, and I don't care. I wanted to try to find a faster horse, and quite honestly, I did not. I did not. <gasps> Boobles! Oh, and Hestu. Okay, well, I guess it's time to take these guys down. Um, Bye-bye. I want all the other stuffs first. Hubs is currently going to see Empa at the Forbidden Temple. All right, I'm gonna get that booble frog, but I first need to take down the trees. Come here, trees! I guess I could get the I could I could get it a one up on you. Whoop. Nope, wrong one. Whoop. Come on, friends. Hey, come after me. What are you doing? Come on. Come on and say hello. Okay. You insist? Wink. I mean, I was fine with the fight, but, you know, if you guys don't want to fight me, that, that's, you know, your prerogative. You know? Everything's fine. Hey, Hestu. Hestu, I want to be able to hold more weapons, my friend. Just like usual, we give him, we give him, uh, Korok seeds for his maracas. He gives us space in our inventory. Oh my gosh, Taco, that's so much. That's so much power, that's insane. We don't need to see the dance. You can look up the dance on YouTube if you really want to see his dance. Yay! He'll give me one more, and then he'll go east. Thirty hours in the game since Saturday, that's about what I'm at. I think if you count checkpoint... If you count checkpoint, I'm about 35. Yes, to look out landing. Which is east. Though I do think he goes other spaces too. I think you can find him. I don't know that for sure because I haven't found him anywhere else yet, but I think you can. Oh wait, the booble frog. Hello, booble frog.
Ah, booble frog. Well, I got some rupees. Some is better than nothing. I guess I could have, like, leapt. Slowed down time. If I could slow down time. If I could find a way. Have I been to this cave? Pretty sure I've been to this cave. Are there lots of gems? I need gems. What's funny is I'm doing all this work because I don't want to go in the proper order, but I know, I know that as soon as the stream, because the stream ends in literally 45 minutes, I'm not going to finish the Goron stuff in 45 minutes. And so all I'm doing is wasting my time rather than just going with the journey that I already know. Oh well. Oh well, I'm having fun. Rock salt. You're so generous. <gasps> I remember this cave. I remember. And I am not happy here. I'm not happy to be here. We're just gonna go. Go, 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 go. Fly, you fool. Fly! I don't have a bottle. Where do I get bottles? Oh, those fairies. I'm looking for armor, though. Mm-hmm. That's a scary cave. That's a very scary cave. I do not like the wall masters. Thank you for your blessing, Raru. Are you talking about the great fairies? I'm just starting. I've played uh, 10 hours of this one. That's what we're on our way to do. We're going to go activate the tower in this region. In my own game, I have... Uh, not activated all of them. I think I still have like two or three left. But I've activated most of them. My goal with this one was to go the wrong way so that I saw things that I didn't see in my personal playthrough. But as I've just waxed on a little bit, I'm not probably, that's probably not going to happen. You have the two desert ones? Okay, we're like, we're like right here now, so... This candy's driving me insane. I gotta put it away. I'm gonna put it in a different section of the room. Oh, it's this one. Hmm. Bridge time! Bridge time! For Link! In Tears of the Kingdom! Time since I've seen Kill Bill. Is it time? Is it time for more Kill Bill? No, wrong way. Stop it. Shh. 
should be enough. Long bridge. We love Long Bridge. All right, time to go scan that van. Dandy, need to put it away. I need to put it away. Put it in another section of the room. My greatest curse. My greatest boon. Bane. Not boon. Boon is good. Bane is bad. Has anybody done any of the sky mazes yet? I really want to. I really enjoyed the mazes in the first game. They were fun. They were a good time. Yup. Okay. I think you can get the skydiving equipment there. That could be a fun thing to do. Hubs will be attempting those before you. I hear that. The gliding shirt. Is that what it's called? I gotta be real, I don't see any shrines. I don't understand if it's this screen. I see them just fine on my Switch, but whenever I... Whenever I play it on here, I cannot see shrines. I don't know what it is. I'm like hopeless. Okay. I guess let's go for that one. Okay, let's take down these bad boys. Maybe they'll give me a rupee. Doubt it. Be surprised. So close. <laughs> so close so far. Um, I do want to make sure. Nope. I want to change it back to a weaker bow. No sense in wasting my 24 power bow on these plebeians. How am I missing? I must be further off than I think I am. My depth perception is off. <laughs> yeah! Put him up, put him up! Ooh. I'll take that, that big old meat. Big old roasted sirloin. Coffee's calling my name. Work is rough today. I had to go get uh I had to go get an extra coffee today as well. That was because we ran out. Rupees or just arrows? Just arrows. Okay. Rupees. A blade. So 
with how much I use arrows, it's worth it. Catching a client up on their bank reconciliations and the credit card statements are all over the place. Yeah, I could tell, I could tell, I could tell some stories. Bookkeeping is fine. I love my job, but sometimes I wonder what people are thinking. Yeah, I totally... Whoops, wrong one. There we go. I totally get what you mean. My thing with bookkeeping and with people that drive me crazy with it is... Um, that not everybody does it the same way, and some people have done it the same way for like 30 years. And whenever they come to me with their 30-year-old methods... That's where my, my brain melts. I just feel like everything should be so technology driven and there's so much that we add to the process that we could do if we just digitize. Digitize, digitize. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I hate this one. Okay. We got this, though. It won't be too difficult. But I don't like this one. Not great. <clears throat> Not great, actually. That's why I do virtual bookkeeping only. If you don't want to use QuickBooks Online, I'm not the bookkeeper. Oh, that sounds amazing. Why, why do you do it? Why do you do it that way? I just, I just, I just want things to do exactly what I want them to do. Okay, time to make a box. You just moving for no reason, huh? I wonder if I have a rocket, because mm, that would make this way easier than doing all this work. No, but I do have a fan. Did I not take it out? Why is it not let me take it out? I guess I can't in shrines, can I? Ugh. Ugh.
Well, Hunter fam, I'm just glad someone out there likes doing that job because I could not do it myself. I don't even like doing it whenever I have to do it, so I can't imagine doing it for hire. You are a saint. I had to tell Talking Pickle that he has everything he needs inside the shrine. Oh yeah, it's true. Oop, nope, nope, nope. We're dead. I thought I was further than I was. Okay. Please don't reset the pieces. Please don't reset the pieces. Please don't reset the pieces. Thank you. <laughs> Man, come on! Uh, not crazy about the numbers part, but I love helping people understand their finances. Well, that is that is the saintliness of it all. No, stop it! You're moving! That's what's happening. Stop moving! Oh my goodness! I know how to do this. I don't want to do their method. I just want to jump on the plank. I just want to jump on the plank and I want it to work. All right. This will be fine. I'm going to heal. No, I'm fine. Oh, now you slide this way, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting of you to do that that time. Hmm. 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 Okay. Man, I don't even care. What could be in that chest? What's in the chest? Nope. I just don't want it to be rupees. The one thing I need. Of course you'd fall the opposite way, wouldn't you? And why, why wouldn't you fall the opposite way, you know? Why would you do anything different? I just wanted it to work my way. Not worth it! Okay. Thank you. Thank you, no thank you. I don't know if this is the right way to solve this, but this is how I solved it last time, and it's how I'm going to solve it again this time.
No, you didn't just do that. Homie. First try. You got me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Hunter Fam and Taco, since y'all have played so much of this game but not done the temples, I'm curious, have you found the other kind of statue? Is there like another of the other statues for people that are playing that way? Or do you have no idea what I'm talking about? Now the question is, where do we go next? We don't have enough rupees, that's for sure. We could just keep going on the road and look for more mountains. Caves. Why did I say mountains? Caves. Hold that thought, but if you mean the courage, power, and wisdom, I found those. I do not. Although you are probably at the point that it doesn't matter. Well, we're 20 minutes, 20 minutes from the end of stream and we've not done much today. We've finished a lot of shrines. Finished a whole lot of shrines. Back, welcome back. Yeah, I'm not, I'm gonna try not to spoil it, but it just, no, there's another, there's another kind of statue. But I think you only find it after you beat a temple. I have so much more stamina in my personal play, and it is killing me to have no stamina. Okay. 
I guess let's go for the Rito. Did you find the pose? I found a couple pose and I have bought one of the things that you need them to buy. That's how I'll try and spoiler around it. But only one part of it. It's okay. Hmm, I wonder what they're defending. Hmm. Kind of curious. What the heck? Did you know that a skeleton horse can pass unharmed while you look for pose? You're talking about the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I did. I don't know if there is a stable down there to register such horses, but I, I wish there was. That damage worries me. Flamethrower, flamethrower, anything but a flamethrower. Are you kidding me right now? Um. Get away from me! You're so fast! How are you so fast? Sure. Get away from me! I'm totally hitting you in the eye. I swear the shield is OP. No. Okay. Nope. No, my horse! You hurt my horse! You absolute monster. How? I doubt it, you can't create loyalty with them and the damage is why I keep a certain flower and cook it as often as I can. Yup. Uh, I'm probably gonna take some of these. Nope. Oh, come on. Rain plus cat. There's a face I haven't heard from a long time. How you doing, my friend? How's it all going? How's life in the in the fine University of Duke? Oh, wing shield? Nice. Uh, dad joke? Let me pull one out. Here is your here's your dad joke, Rain. Finished your first semester, four A's and two B's. Hey, chat's in the clap for Rain. That's not easy to pull out in the first year of Duke. The first year they really give you a lot of rough stuff here. Okay. It's always hard to find jokes in this book. When does a joke become a dad joke? When does a joke become a dad joke? When it's apparent. Bow. Wonder what's up here. Rainer, you play in Zelda? 
I knew you meant first semester, but I, my point remains the same. The first year is incredibly challenging. That's why I gave you kudos. Bought it, but I have not had a chance. That's all good. It'll happen when it happens. My camera. Why must the camera always die? Oh, stop! Uh, but yes, the first year was rough. Add in the issues with the defiant teenager. This has been a struggle. Well, I feel for you, Rain. I did not have a teenager to struggle with, but I did have a near newborn, and I definitely feel the struggle and the challenge of that era. I'm glad that you're holding strong and hopefully doing your best and clearly doing your best if you've had such such good luck with your grades. So kudos to you. Well, it's real fun when you are able to get around to it. It's a good time. I kind of wanted to see. This was totally not worth my time. I kind of wanted to see if that would, uh, if that would, um, go up in flame, like allow me to fly. That looks like a powerful weapon. Is this a powerful weapon? No. No, 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 no. Wasn't me. God put me in with some really smart people. I just absorb their smartness. Well, that's all that life is, man. That's that's just existence, my dude. That's just what we do. I I would find it hard to believe that anybody's not going through life exactly that way. If you're one of them there smart people, let me know how you do it. We have not succeeded in our journey. Looking forward to hopefully hanging out in a few weeks. Oh yeah! Right around the corner. How is church stuff going? You're a student pastor, correct? You're still serving. You didn't take sabbatical during school years. I hope that's all going well for you. What are you doing, sir? I don't know if I talked to you in my playthrough. Yes, real good. We voted to become a lighthouse. Yay! For those of you that are outside of the methosphere, the a Lighthouse Congregation is in North Carolina, West North Carolina Conference. And it basically means that with all these disaffiliating churches, there are a lot of people that are left without a church because they didn't want to go with their church to the Global Methodist Church. And Lighthouse Congregation are there to kind of serve as a halfway house or a place for them to be picked up in uh, whenever they have to leave their congregation they've been a part of for a long time. So that's a wonderful thing. I'm glad your church voted on that. Kudos to you. Wonder who would have made it this far without seeing Impa in a normal play. What are those? All my classmates are dealing with disaffiliation. I can only imagine. That is definitely something that I can imagine would be a regular conversation. You just found Impa? Oh my goodness. Y'all are wild. Oh, I like money. I like rupees. I gotta gather all ten of these items. I 
can't read because of Mr. Taco Dudes. I guess I'll give a, a rupee deposit. Oh, oh no! It's a minigame. Okay, I wasn't anticipating a minigame. Can I pick them up? Nope, not with that. There's so many more than 10. Are you kidding me? Somehow I feel like I'm doing this incorrectly. No! Y'all, we're actually gonna come out short. We're gonna have less money than we started with. Because I had to give 20 rupees to this. I wonder if I could have fused them? I can't remember if you have text to speech. Uh, we do sometimes when it works. There's no way I've done all ten. Too short. Eight out of ten. But first we must not chop on. Well, thank you for the bits. Dragon Ball! You got the six-star Dragon Ball. One left after this. Oh, did you say closed captioning? I thought you said text-to-speech. <sighs> Nine. Nine! Well, at least I got my money back. Yeah, I've never seen her before. I don't know if I'd be able to do that any quicker on the Switch or not. All right, well, this has been an overall uneventful stream. We tried to make money. We have done some things. We've done plenty of shrines. And I mean, that's a majority of the game, if we're being honest. I always have fun. Almost like I'm playing video games. Oh good, we can go raid Trombone. Trombone will be our guest liturgist in the Nerdy Sermon this Sunday too. You've enjoyed Power Watch Sim, it's great. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good like, I can imagine that would be an excellent game for somebody at Duke. Because what a great palate cleanser. A just total mental unwind. I'm sorry. We'll do one last shrine. One last shrine before we call it a day. One more again. Played well, text reader, read your textbooks. Love it. I've never done this shrine. Whoa. Is that still gonna be heavy enough? <laughs> Give me a break. Twas! Was indeed. Hmm. Can I can I use this? Uh oh. I can. I want up here.
Now, surely I can climb the ice, right? Speechify, if anyone is curious, awesome service. I have heard of it. No, ice blocks are not magnetic, but you can now use magnesis on everything because it's called Ultra Hand instead of magnesis. Why does this always happen? I don't actually know what I need to do to solve the puzzle. Was there another... Another button? Did I miss a button somewhere? Hmm. Maybe it's one up there? Is there a button up there? Hmm. I missed something somewhere, but I don't know where. It just keeps making ice blocks. Maybe do I need more ice blocks? For what? What do I do? For do I do I need the ice block? Maybe there's something up there. I have no idea. Well, I'm supposed to be working. We're almost done with stream anyway. I uh, thought I would pop in. I'll leave on in the background. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna raid out as soon as we're done with this shrine. So, I have I have I have low key no idea what to do. What am I supposed to do? Is there a secret way in? Is there another button? <gasps> Got it. Maybe. Maybe got it. Think I got it. We'll find out if I got it. Good news is the game just told me I'm only supposed to have... Whoop, I'm only supposed to have two ice blocks. So that's nice to know. Let's see if you will cooperate. You won't. Even still. Hmm. Wonder if I'll be able to grab you from the bottom. Doubt it. Well then. It's not very kind. Not very kind at all. Does that mean that you had to ride down on an ice block? Because that's silly. There I go. There I go! No! I don't want this! Wonder, can you fuse them together? You can. So maybe. Just maybe. I guess I should have attached it to the ice block and let that ride it down. Hopefully I'll be able to reach it. Oh, come on! Please! Please! Just be kind! Why? Why? <laughs> Come on! Give me an actual break, dude. This is really risking it. This is really... Really risky. Homie. 
homie. Homie. Give me a break, dog. Give me a single break, my dude. Why? Why can't it just work? Why can't it simply function? I mean, they have it perfectly, perfectly gapped. Go, I don't even want to see you. Okay, okay, I definitely hit the X button. It's fine, it's fine, I'm fine. It's one o'clock and I want to be done, and I want to be done. And I don't want to do this right now. This ridiculousness, this silly, silly thing. This silly, silly, goofy game. I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna explode into a million pieces. Let's figure out how to make this work. Let us figure out how to make this work. No clue. Sometimes these magical targets, by the way, sometimes these magical targets don't need weight. Sometimes they need inertia, and other times they need weight, and nobody knows why, which happens when. I'm gonna burst into flames. I'm gonna burst into flames in front of everybody. It's just gonna happen. I'm gonna combust into a big old fiery ball of flames because of this ridiculous game right now. It's gonna happen. It's totally gonna happen in front of everybody. Everybody's gonna see me just burst into a billion, billion, billion sparks of frustration and rage. It's gonna happen. It's off center. Apparently that matters. Sometimes it matters. Other times, doesn't matter. And unfortunately, this is still gonna be my goatee. Get me out of this shrine. Get me out. I want to leave. I don't want to be here anymore. Holy moly. I've eaten so much candy. Stress candy. <laughs> All right, we're done. We're done. We've done it. Chats in the clap. Chats in the clap for a job well done, and we're going to go right out, I presume, to trombone. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of this stream. Perfect time for ads. I appreciate you being here and hanging out with us, having good times. Folks, we are Checkpoint Church, really a church. I'm Nerd Pastor Nate. I'm really the pastor. Five more seconds. Hang on. We'll start again. We'll start again. We'll start again. Folks, I'm Check... <sighs>
It's fine. I, I could have sworn that said three of three, but it said two of three. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. We're fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Who's fine? This guy. You? You're fine. I'm fine. We're all fine. Stream is fine. Definitely not frustrated at Zelda. Wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do that. I guess while I'm here, I can go ahead and close out of it. While I've got the excess time. There we go, folks! No! <laughs> what is happening? Why are there so many ads? Is the ad thing broken? Trombone, we were just about to raid you. Are you still alive? I can't tell what's happening with ads. I think ads are broken. Look at how many ads that is. Why does it just keep going? We just got through three ads. I think, I think the ad counter is broken. Let me know if you're not watching ads right now and you're not subscribed. We'll wait, the, we'll wait the more 30 seconds. I don't know what just happened. I'm very confused. Very confused. All right, 30 more seconds. We're doing great. This is almost as frustrating as this run. Fourteen seconds. Folks. Three, two, one. Hopefully you're done with ads now. I have no idea if you are actually done with ads, but we're gonna wrap up stream. We are Checkpoint Church, we're really a church. I'm Nerd Pastor, and I'm really the pastor here. We believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. That's what we're doing here. We're building community here on Twitch. We're building it over on Discord, Expedition Point Discord in the chat. We're building it over on YouTube, where we're putting our nerdy sermons every single Sunday. We're doing all sorts of fun stuff like that. We're having lunch together, we're hanging out. We're building an awesome community and we're glad that you're a part of it. And number three, why are we doing all this? Because you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it, folks. We're going to go raid Trombone Dalek, one of our own. And if you subscribed, then you got the cool animated you matter. If you followed, you got the cool uh, not animated you matter. That is our raid message. So rather than uh, raiding out with a bunch of raids and raid, 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 here comes the raid, uh, we want you to let the communities that we're raiding know that they matter. So that is what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to go raid over to Trombone Dalek. Folks, we'll be back again Monday morning with some more stream, uh, Monday afternoon with some more streams, Tuesday night and Thursday morning. Uh, next Wednesday, we'll have lunch over on the Discord. Uh, Discord is a place to be. If you're not on the Discord, I don't know what you're doing. That's a place to be. Folks, with that, we're going to wrap this one up. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye!